At the top tonight, weather details past, present and future. Stormy weather overnight brought powerful straight line winds through much of the viewing area, but folks in Alice and Benavides in Jim Wells County appear to be some of the hardest hit. You'll see what folks there were having to clean up today. That's right. Hurricane force winds in some cases causing that mess overnight, and we appear to have a lot more of that kind of weather potentially headed this way, particularly tomorrow and tomorrow night. But let's get a quick update on what the satellite and radar images are showing us tonight. Our chief meteorologist Alan Holt has that for us. And the radar looks a lot different tonight than it did last night. This is last night at midnight. We had this line of storms that moved through. It produced those strong straight line winds. And then there was some backing winds on the, the western flank of this thing. It started to bow out. This is when the winds became especially strong in Benavides and Alice. The radar was sampling 80 to 90 mile per hour winds winds in these two locations and that's where all the damage reports were. There was a tornado warning around 2 a.m. near Bluntser. Uh, that's not confirmed yet. That was just for radar indicated rotation and then this bow echo moved offshore by sunrise. We were left with some trailing light rain, but uh, tonight the radar looks vastly different. We don't have that big line of storms out there, at least right now. We do have some exiting Refurio and B counties. Those are moving over away from us to the north and east. We are going to have to keep watch on these cells coming off of the mountains of Mexico near Laredo, nearly stationary storm in northern Webb County north of Laredo. And again, fairly quiet right now for the coastal bend. Flash flood watches and a tornado watch in place right now. We'll walk through the forecast here a little bit later on in the broadcast. Leslie, Joe. Alan, thank you. Yeah, of course, the ground really saturated and many of you took time to send us pictures and videos of the storm damage from the overnight hours, including this one. Take a look here. It comes from Alice where you can see the strong winds overnight wound up blowing a tree right on top of that car. Pretty incredible damage around Jim Wells County. We want to thank Noemi Acero for sending us this picture today. And another tree fell victim to the heavy winds last night. This video coming out of Benavides from viewer Cynthia Cervantes, who says this is next to the Louis restaurant there in town. Wow, you can see just uprooted. Thanks for sending this my way, Cynthia.